Okay. Now, after last night, uh, where you were with Targan and Taran, a few drinks, but you decided to get a, a, an early rest. Now, you, Bree, yes. you uh, happen to have a ritual uh, that you've been carrying around with you for a while of finding a familiar. You've been studying it for a long time recently. And when you went upstairs to go to bed, you just thought you'd give it another read through, and suddenly it just clicked. And you now know how to cast this ritual. You know everything that you need to cast it. You, Aronel, you yep. have spent the time uh, before meditation in, uh, examining this map. You thought it would be quite easy because there are like, locations marked on it. But there doesn't actually seem to be any, like, any landmarks that you recognise. In fact, the lay of the land seems somewhat different. Mm -hmm. So you're not really 100% sure where this is. Despite there being a clear indication of where Borgoth's lair is, this section of map isn't actually all that big. It's a very close zoom in of an area. So a bit difficult to see where, it's, where it is. Okay. Um, you over there, Gammon. Uh, you, having at this point no such... Uh, revelations, you decide to take your, your trusty mole plus one. I hope you remember it's a plus oh, one. Oh, yes. Good. And you decide to, to make your way to bed. Now let's just get everything ready. Here we go. Morning. Inside. Yeah. Is that a good one to use? So you have to forget <coughs> me. I'm just doing a little bit of... Uh, That's one. I've got to make snapshots for this, which... Snapshots? It basically, I can just go click, press a button, it loads up effects and music. Oh, that's good. Cool. Uh, but I forgot to do it for this particular one, so you have to bear with me. Yeah, no problem. God. Not that good, is it? We're all ready except at the end. Yeah. As per usual. Right, let's go. <laughs> As per usual. <laughs> As per usual. <laughs> Dwarf all of a sudden gets hit. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to throw a crowbar at AOFL? <laughs> How much time, Mr. I take, Chris? <laughs> right, you're downstairs. Looking at this map, still puzzled as to what it, where it points. Obviously, you've got the bar, the, the inn's a little bit more awake because obviously trade routes are now open. Business has just started to boom. They should all love us. You, uh, you, sorry, you, Gavin, uh, you uh, walk into the inn, being very well rested. You see your your elf friend sitting at a table, but before you can even maybe friends too strong a word. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, acquaintance. So you, you see the elf. Um, teammate, teammate, uh, part no, not even partner. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not that no. close. You see the elf weight that's dragging you back, and um, that's it, yeah. <laughs> before you can even nod your head in greeting, you hear a <laughs> coming from down the stairs as Bree runs down, screaming at the top of her head, "Eureka!" or some sort of form of. Oh, oh what are you screaming, yeah. Bree? Because you found out how to what cast this it? ritual. Cats. Oh, cool. <laughs> she hasn't got it yet. She's figured out how to oh, cast right. <laughs> you need Can I just run straight past them and, and, and out the door? You can, yes. You, you, okay, so a, a, a halfling I'm just not runs down to... out the door, seems to be very happy about something. I'm not even going to bat an eyelid. <laughs> this is normal. This surprises me not. This is normal. Oh, okay, so... Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm like... Did In fact, fine. she, she barges you, you out of the way. Yeah, uh, you're, you're by the... Uh, his legs are a bit short. I'm a dwarf, your, remember? <laughs> Actually, yeah, she nails me clean in the groin. Yeah, well, I think, I think you're just more, more because of inertia rather than strength. She managed to barge you out of the way. Yeah. Uh, and she's out the door. I'm out. I, I, yeah. You, are you going to... you just not going to um, follow me? You're just going to... Okay. I'm, I'm going to... Uh, I want to do something for myself, actually. I need something I need... I've got something I need to purchase, I feel. Okay, what were you looking for? I have for? to send... Oh. I'm going to look for a longbow and arrows. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Why? Um, I feel like there's probably going to be a time where I could... I'm going to stand, stand there with my glaive wishing, you know what? I've got a bow and arrow right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Such then. as a warehouse so we, uh, planning. we've recently yeah. been yeah, in. Yeah, a warehouse situation happened where right. I was like, I can't slash them from 50 feet away. <laughs> I see. Oh, and just on a side note, Dave, if, yeah. uh, I mentioned that the uh, the shelves were wooden yeah. and quite rickety. Yeah. Had you chosen to, you could have knocked them down yeah, with your, you your mentioned wall. Yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah, right? we did. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair I was going to assume we're not always going to have these little... I was going to climb them. As I have a skill to climb, so I was an expert climber. Interesting enough, had you done that, I would have probably thought, ooh, I wonder if they're strong enough to take the weight of the armour and the dwarf. I have no armour. No, the armour on the shelves already. Oh, right. <laughs> plus, plus weighty dwarf with large maul. Oh, dude, you should have... Oh. Doesn't matter too much. Anyway. You could have robbed more armour. My armour's fine. All right. What's it do when I do that again? Plus two AC. Plus two, two AC. AC. That's my balance. It's good. It's useful. Um, Is it my way of me, actually? 
Uh, you've run out. Um, you know exactly what you need, so you head straight over to the alchemist who's got all the incense, herbs, and, weirdly, fat that you need. When you get there... How much does it cost? You just walk in and say that. <laughs> How much does, How much does what cost? <laughs> the shop? A lot. You can't buy it. Yeah, well, actually. What, what, do I, what do I need? Incense, fat... Incense, herbs, and fat. How much do I need it? Well, basically, you, you, you have a, you've got the ritual, so you have a list. You can just shove the list at her face if you want. You go, how much? How much has it got? How much? Said, how much for this, please? <laughs> and she goes, uh, uh, takes this. Uh, uh, oh, um, uh, 100 gold pieces, 100 gold pieces. Uh, that, that should be enough to cover all of this. What, what do you need this for? Okay, and I will slam the money down on the floor. I will slam the money yeah, up on the deck. <laughs> okay, the, the, the woman behind the counter looks <laughs> at the list. He has a little and a jingle and goes, I'll get them for you right, right away. Right and, away. And he gets the stuff right away. Right away, I will get them for you. Oh my god, it's a oh, Chinese yeah. sweatshop. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so he gets all the ingredients and gives them to you and goes, What, what, what do you need them for? Back. Make more herbs! <laughs> <laughs> Make more herbs! No, let's, let's cut the, the casual racism out of this. Oh, so, um, <laughs> it put, gives you the ingredients. It says, what, what, do you, what do you need this for? Cat, and then run out the door. I, leaving her with a sense of amusement that most people have come to acknowledge <laughs> from you and your family. <laughs> I okay. love it. The cat! Woof! That's a strange thing to feed a cat. <laughs> <laughs> right, now, uh, you have, obviously, you've left, I'm guessing you, both of you have yeah. left? Uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll stroll out roughly in the same time. Okay, I'm assuming you're heading back to your room to cast the ritual. Didn't I have to cast it in a blacksmith? Hang on. <laughs> in a blacksmith. <laughs> in the field. Blacksmith, <laughs> what? Open your chest, I need to do something in a minute. <laughs> no, you need to have a, a brazier. Uh, hang on. Basically, uh, you must perform this an incantation. The place has to sing okay. out your voice into the ether, and at the end of this, your new familiar calls out the smoking remains of a brazier. Oh yeah, you must stoke a brazier with charcoal and add a hundred golds worth of fat into it. And for the next day, so basically, um, you've got this. This process takes a day. So you go in, you do the ritual, oh, and the next oh, day you oh, cast oh, a spell, oh. and then your cat will emerge from. Yeah. So where do I make this fire? Can I do it in well, my room? Well, there's a brazier room? in your room. Uh, okay, I'll do it in my room then. Uh, uh, just don't make sure you burn the whole tail at the end down. It's really bad. Trust it's me, I know. known as a fireplace. So just so Same I, sort of thing. Just to um, clarify, I've been sat there in the bar, and the half has gone... <laughs> yep, and you've just... <laughs> out, and, and she's gone... <laughs> woof! Yeah, straight exactly. Straight back in. Okay. Straight back in. <laughs> with a muffle. Yeah, with stairs. a muffle. Up the stairs. Okay, well I'm going to go hunting for my bow. Right, well, I'm going to go look for some health potions. How many health potions do you have? I have none, I believe. And, and you, Tash? Oh, sorry, tell her I have one. Okay. I want a couple more. I have five healing kits and two health potions. Nice, okay, so you don't definitely need no, more No, I have kits. four healing potions. Okay, and Matt? Wow, I've got two healing potions. Okay, fair enough. Well, you, And a bottle you... of fine elephant port. Sweet, can I drink it? Again. You find... <laughs> and a dagger, where'd I get a dagger from? Probably me. Probably just got it as standard because all characters come with a dagger. Okay. Um, it's like a buy a character to get a dagger, dagger free. I didn't. You, you do actually. It's in your equipment. You all, everyone starts off with a dagger. Are you sure? Yeah. No. I have a dagger. <laughs> everyone has a dagger. I okay. got a dagger now because I found one. Is it oh, my dagger? I didn't think about it. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Is it my dagger? I keep throwing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so you find a Fletcher. That's not right. Is Fletcher right? Fletcher right, yes. Yeah, okay. I was about to right. say it sounds a bit dodgy, but no. Uh, Although I had an instant... Not a felcher. <laughs> <laughs> I instantly thought of porridge. Yeah, right. <laughs> so you find a, a Fletcher, and, and he, he has a selection of weaponry available, and you see a particularly nice, you know, not necessarily grandiose, but a particularly nice longbow. Cool. How much for the longbow? A over here. You point to the there. I point to the longbow. Oh. I wouldn't I point to the dude and say, how much for this longbow? <laughs> I uh, assume you're I'm, hand- I'm, I'm the black. I'm the black. <laughs> the <laughs> over there. You longbow. Fair point. We'll cut that bit out. So um, no, 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 we'll <laughs> that in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fair enough. This is as bad as drinking the barman, isn't it? Yep. Um, <laughs> or welding glue. Yes. Or, or welding glue. <laughs> Finally, I'm not the only one that fucked. I mean, I messed up. Oh, I, I feel like I should ask a bit more about this welding. Glue. Later. <laughs> right, okay. I'm, I'm just uh, getting up some equipment. It's like having a filing knife. If that makes sense. You're either going to cut it or you're going to file it. Use a knife to cut it and a file to file it. Yeah. You don't have a knife that also files. No, you don't. So you either weld it or you glue it. Correct. Yes. 
And I, I asked, uh, I said welding glue. So that's what it's called. Oh, right. You need welding glue. Okay. And I was like, for the exhaust, what? the fell apart. <laughs> May I say, I expertly stuck back together. Okay. Oh, you very see a heavy longbow. What? No, not a heavy longbow, a, a longbow. Clang! <laughs> and he says, that... I you up. 70 gold. I'll give you 55. 65. Are you halfway, 60? Aye, 60. Arrows are extra. <laughs> arrows are extra? How much for arrows? <laughs> 10 gold. <And> the... <laughs> How many arrows is that? One. <laughs> <laughs> That's more than expensive to damn bow. 50. 50 arrows for 10 gold. And it comes with a quiver. 5 gold. <laughs> You can't haggle with this guy. I think he... This guy's clearly looking at you, saw you as an elf, yeah. assumes you're rich. <laughs> <laughs> this, no, it, I would make, normally I would make you roll an insight check, but it's painfully obvious. Yes. <laughs> Especially because it's got a dangling price tag off the bow saying 50 gold. <laughs> 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 with 100 arrows. <laughs> Seems it's Buy now, get a free quiver. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm joking, that's not actually on it. I will count go. Uh, wait, let me cross off the 60 for the... Hang on, if I just write down how much I'm playing so far. 60 GP, 10... What kind of arrows are they? Pointy ones. <laughs> I was going to say that! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 50 arrows. 50 arrows. Are the tips serrated, sharp or pointy? They're pointy ones. With serrated tips. What do you think? Serrated. The will get them back. <laughs> and pointy tips, you fool! There are serrated arrows, oh, yeah, so I'd you, say you, serrated you arrows. You can have uh, like arrowheads, you can have just straight points, so you can have serrated ones. Don't get smart with me, they're, they're bloody pointy ones. <laughs> Am I hearing this conversation? Are you in the? Are you looking for a health potion or did you follow him? Oh, I was looking for a health potion, yes. Okay, well, and the quiver, what kind of leather is it? From an animal kind of leather. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't seem very talkative, He's not. No. he doesn't seem to like elves very much. I give you eight gold for a lot. Eight gold for the arrows and the quiver. Yes, eight gold to cover about two golds worth of metal and wood and about th- um, three golds worth of leather. Okay, roll a charisma check if you have any sort of negotiation sort of skills. Wait a minute, can I say it more like a... Yes, eight gold to cover the... Yeah, if you want to intimidate. Yeah, yeah I've got intimidate. <laughs> What's the skill dice now at level three? Is it, st- is it still the same? Still the same. Uh, I guess, hang on, <clears throat> I'll check. I bet, yo, why not check? It's been a while since we looked at it. It would be in skills, wouldn't it? Mm. <laughs> Would it? Who knows? Saving throws. Why does it say racial traits nice. saving throws? Ah! No, it's fine. No, no, no. I'll shut up. No, that's fine. I was being thick. Oh, right. <laughs> Advantage on poison saving throws. I can't throw. find the, uh... Yeah. <laughs> the skill dice thing. Um... <clears throat> I can't remember where it is. Oh, I think it's on advancement. Oh, hang on a second. Your skill day starts as a D6. When you reach the 7th, 12th, and th- 17th level, you can either choose a new skill or improve the dice from a D6 to a D8. So you still only have a D6. Okay. <laughs> Six minus one, five. He looks at you and goes... <laughs> Ten gold. <laughs> I like eight gold. Okay. He's, he's a racist, but he's a fat racist. <laughs> A fat, a fat racist. A fat and you're armoured and, and armed. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. It wasn't e- that difficult. It's actually a DC5, so. Really? Yeah. That's Easy. incredible. Easy to do, to do. Right, let me just do some math to start. While you're doing that. Yeah, while you're doing that, you find an alchemist who's looking a little bit confused. What's up with you? Um, I don't know. Uh, a halfling ordered some ingredients and then disappeared. Uh, yeah, apparently. It's a woman. What? It's a woman. Right. I never said it wasn't yeah, mine. Right. You've got to sound like a woman to do it. <laughs> I can't sound like a woman. Hang on. Just talk normally. Hold your legs a minute. <laughs> Just talk normally. Oh, thanks. Aww. Oh, don't pick on him. See, it's your job. I'm sorry, let yourself wide open for that one. <laughs> Giggity. Um. <laughs> so, yeah, Mr. Halfing came in and ordered some stuff and disappeared. I think it was for a cat. I'm not sure. But yay, big. Sure, yeah, but I guess. I don't know. She left so fast. Mind who you're on about. Anyway. Do you have any health potions in stock? Yeah, we've just got a, a shipment that just came in last night. How much is a, one health potion? Excuse me, the DM's just going to check the price list. Sweet. <laughs> check out here this oh Lord DM! 
Watch for that. To get here, this gets two, so I'm going to grab a look for some of them in a minute. Okay. Uh, health potion, that's uh, 20 gold. 20, 20 gold. gold. 80 gold for five. Uh, roll a charisma check if you have any negotiation oh, stuff. Got it. I'm okay. Is the potions of healing dropped in price now? Well, how much is it to make them? 25. Oh, in that case, they're 30. Sorry, I thought they're 15. 30 gold. Oh, Jesus. Uh, 100 gold for five. Hang on a second, that's a hell of a markdown. That's a 50 gold drop. Hey, you get. <laughs> Might as well. I, yeah, but with, yeah, with him, I still charged him more than the bow was worth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 50 gold drop. I, I'm not sure if I can go that low. I'm sorry. 125. Hmm. Right, roll a uh, charisma check. 17. Uh, plus, plus my charisma, which is 18. He goes. Plus one more week without meat, hey? Yeah, sure. Cool. I did save your village. That. that that, that's that's you're actually, actually quite dwarfish. <laughs> uh, you, you actually you, you save the cleric, not necessarily the village. They're thankful, but there's a handful of bandits in the, in the warehouse. In worst case scenario, they locked the warehouse, burned it down. They wouldn't have done that. They would never have done that. Um, what cleric. about your trade routes? What? What about your trade routes? Good point. But exactly. remember, you, you, at the moment, you're not that famous. But you're getting there. You're not me. Where do I go for healing kits? Um, there's actually an apothecary nearby. Is it the same apothecary? No, that's an alchemist. Oh, of course it is. Okay, yeah, I'll go to the back area now. Okay. You walk in, and there's, a, there's a rather haggled looking old man uh, with a bloodstained sort of apron. And uh, he's just sitting on the uh, sitting on his desk looking out. Seems to be fairly dazed. Obviously, um, it's been a bit of a busy few days. Maybe a few guys got injured from that attack. But he seems to have been done everything, and he's just sort of sitting there. Just looking at him, hoping no one else gets hurt. <laughs> Again. Good evening. Oh, good morning. He sort of leans back and goes, Good morning. I see a man of class. Elves. I study elves. Oh. I'm very interested in your race. Very noble creatures. Thank you for saying. Great. You I appreciate it. it. Do you happen to have any healing kits around? Uh, I have a few. How many? Well... I've used a lot fairly recently, so I'm a bit low, but uh, the, the alchemist should, be got, should have got some uh, uh, some herbs on order, and I should be getting a shipment of wool in a few days, so I'd say I've got about, about two spare. You, and you can spare those two? I can spare them. I've got enough to, to last, uh, last for a few days that I need them. How much for those two? Uh, well, if Brie over there wouldn't mind just telling me how much it costs to make a healing kit. It's me. It costs two gold, five silver. Oh, wow. Okay. I'd say three gold for the two. No, for each. For the, yeah, each. Yeah, so gold. six gold together. Six gold all together for the two. I say, done. I'll take the healing kits and I'll leave 17 gold. 17? Uh, uh, you've, you've given me way too much. Then use it well. Huh. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are, we're very short on supplies here. This is <coughs> this is great. <laughs> I'm afraid I've already gone. <laughs> I've walked out. I've done like a deed. He's gone. Oh, okay. Where's well, he gone? <laughs> it's also partly because it's much easier to mine a ship from my 940 than 957. For some reason, my city isn't working. I know the feeling. Damn it! Hang on, let me get some city running. Hang on, hang on. Oh no, population boom. Oh, it is. It's just a very quiet city, apparently. Well, yeah. Just a bit of hall of people. How else? 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 How What's the damage of a bow? Ah, uh, the damage of a bow. Uh, let's see, it's a good Pointy. Got that. It is, <laughs> and that will matter. That is good <laughs> that you pointed that out. Uh, but it is that, it's actually Pointy. called uh, piercing damage. Thank you. It's close enough. Pointy damage. It's pointy pointy damage. damage. What do you call like a sword damage then? Ouch. Ouchy damage. Uh, actually, that's what it's called. Ouch. Why? <laughs> because I have been. Oh yes. Yeah. I have been bar- I've been kebabbed by one. Thank you very much. <laughs> Did I miss something? Did I roll too high on something? Yes, yes you, you did. did. Remember? Oh. Great sword to my chest, oh, thank yeah, you. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I like how he chorus, yes, you did. 
It's impressive. Yeah, it's uh, 1d8 piercing damage. What's the dice above a d8? Is it d12 or d10? Uh, it be a, a, well, the next dice up would be a d10, I don't know. Yeah. My uh, elf ability increases it to the next uh, damage die. Oh, okay. Well, it wouldn't be a d7. But it no. would be a d9, so it would be a d10. D10. What? D10. That's good, guys. It is, isn't it? Yeah, its range is 150 to 600 feet. Any can closer I, than that? Can I have a move at Right. And got a problem. Right. Maybe it may be best that you change that to a short bow. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there one in between? 150 feet, that's... That's quite far. That's 30. So less than 30 squares? Yeah. I have a problem. Yeah, so then a longbow isn't like a bow that you do this with. It's a bow that you go like that, and it's about taller than you. Yeah. A short bow. Is that one is in between? Crossbow man! Crossbow! crossbow. <laughs> Light crossbow. Uh, you could probably do that in a reaction as well. Thud. Bow, heavy Thud. crossbow. Well, it seems that the best one you're gonna go for is looks like a hand crossbow or a short bow is a good medium range one. Hand crossbow. Yeah, it's like quite rare. Stink. Um well there's seventy five gold pieces. So it may be that he'll have to order it in. Yeah. It's alright. So there's no there's other short bow or long bow. You can't have like a, a bow. There is no bow. Okay. <laughs> there is no actual bow. It's either short or tall. Don't worry. Okay. What's the range of short bow then? Uh, Eighty to three hundred twenty. Eighty. So that's what eight. Sixteen squares. It's still quite long, isn't it? But you gotta remember when I get the Chessex gaming man, it's gonna be long corridors or even open fields. There's that. Oh Jesus! Don't say I mean, this. I'm not going to restrict your. <laughs> I, I'm basically. I'm just saying that. What's the disadvantage uh, of them being so close? I haven't looked at range uh, combat yet. You know what? And neither have I. Let, let's learn together. God. Anyway, um, in that case, then I'm going to tend my wounds. What wounds? Again, I still have, you know. You uh, woke probably... up. You slept. You yeah, rested. no. You're fine. You well, I'll no... we'll probably have a scab from the kebab. Okay. Oh, okay. A scab from the kebab? Yes. <laughs> it's quite it's quite a nasty kebab, thank you. You're like a, bu- a blow from the bow? Shh, yes. <laughs> oh dear. Um, it's the can it's the candle of the andal all over again. As I say, I'm gonna go back to the inn and um, drink the place dry again. Because it's well, it's water to me. Oh, I asked the bartender, has he got any dwarf and ale yet? Hang on a second, I've just found ranged attacks. Damn it. That's Elijah's a projectile weapon, strike a foe at a distance. Make ranged attacks only against targets within your weapon's range. Uh, a weapon has two ranges. A small number indicates the weapon's normal range, a large number indicates long range. You have disadvantage when you attack targets beyond normal range and out. You can. No, that range isn't. It's not that you can't shoot there. I thought it was a bit harsh. Up to 80 with a longbow right. is your normal range, right? So oh. 1 to 50 is your yeah. normal range. Right. Up to the second number, you have disadvantage because it's long range. Any further, you ain't going to get it. Got it. That's okay, cool. much better. Right, so I'm assuming you're keeping your longbow there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a good place to restart because so, we've only got a minute and a half left anyway. Okay, yeah. Right, okay, one sec.